Hi guys, Hunter with Hunter's Lawns. I want to go over my 2021 lawn care setup. Starting off with our F-150. It is the crew cab. We do have a plow set up on it for a Western HTS, which is designed for the half ton series pickup trucks. We'll take you a quick look inside. All right, for all you guys and girls, keep your vehicles nice and clean. You never know when a customer is going to come up and take a look. Always make sure you have things neatly organized. In the back, we've got storage back here for tools, equipment, you know, your odds and ends. And uh, always keep toe straps. Um, also keep your um, extra ratchet straps inside the truck or if you've got you know storage on the trailer you can do it there it's got a six and a half foot box on it tonneau cover and the trailer we're going to be rocking this year is a toy haul trailer you obviously have two different ways to come out of it which makes it versatile um, it's nice to have this on the right hand side of the uh, uh, the trailer, easy to get off onto difficult areas of properties or if they're a little raised or whatnot, it does make it a little bit easier. But it is a six and a half by 12 foot trailer. It does fit all of our equipment. And we're gonna go into the backpacks next. So as most of you guys and girls know, when you're out on a job site, you have to have multiples of everything. You never know when you're going to encounter a problem with A, a breakdown, some sort of issue. Always have a backup to a backup. Um, but what we are running, we're running the 350, the 430, and the 800X on our backpack blowers. And uh, they work phenomenal. with the 322L and the 129L and for a lot of our shrubs and trees that we do um, we use the Ryobi it's a great little piece of equipment I think it was less than 125 bucks um, you get about two three hours of continuous work on a couple of our larger properties commercial properties that we do um, that's about the time frame that you're going to get out of it so have a backup battery if need be and then what it seems like everybody's interested in is the mowers. What's everybody running? Well, we're running the 2020 Toro Time Cutter. It's a 42 inch deck. Uh, this one does have the bagging system on it. Uh, it's not on it currently. Uh, but this is mainly for a lot of our yards um, that are the 0 0.25, 0 0.50 um, tight spaces. Um, Really works out real great. And a uh, little shout out to Gerber's power equipment. Anybody over there, anybody over there that you want to see, go talk to these guys over in Maplewood. Everybody there is great to work with, easy to work with, and uh, they'll answer all your questions. They got great financing. They also run John Deere as well. Um, they are a Toro John Deere, John Deere dealership. The big mower for this year, uh, we are going to run the Toro 2000. Obviously, it's a Titan HD. I think they kind of switched over between the Z Master and the HD. They're kind of roughly the same. Uh, just a different brand labeling for this year. Um, but I think it's going to work out great for us. A couple add-ons that we did right away. We went and got an advanced shoot. Um, I do want to give a shout out to Stan over at Dirt Monkey for his 10% off that he was offering everybody um, if they ordered through Ballard. Also, Corey over at Ballard Inc. Talked to him three or four times through emails. Very nice guy. Got me set up. Um, made me feel very comfortable about the purchase. Knew I was getting a product that's going to last and that they stand behind. So, Corey at Ballard. Uh, also on this uh, uh, equipment, this is coming from Toro. 
This is for your trimmer trimmers if you need to put a trimmer on here and take that with you. Um, also, you got the roll bar. And then on this side, you do have a spot to A, put a backpack blower if need be right here, or you can put a, you know, some people want to put uh, a garbage can here. You pick up trash. Some of the bigger uh, commercial lots that you come across, you got pop cans. And, Flyers and everything else that you come 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 across you can always throw it in there Two other important things that every person should have Always keep your tools with you wherever you go you got sockets you got wrenches you got screws You got Allen's you never know when you're gonna when you're gonna need one of those So always keep those in your trucks. Okay guys? couple of other products that we have back here we do have a 40 inch aerator aerating overseeding or just aeration either one of those two options are great to offer your customers for extra services and quite frankly a lot of yards need it especially when you're running heavy equipment over the top of it you need to start opening up these lawns and allowing these lawns to breathe and get the nutrients down into the soil or a grass seed so they can start to grow. Also a deep thatcher. Now with these, for your yards that uh, have got heavy thatch or even light thatch, there's nothing wrong with doing this in the springtime or the fall time, summertime. If you're starting a buildup of thatch on yards, Great option to offer your customers. This is the retirement. This is the, the mower that started uh, Hunter's Lawns and uh, it is a 2019 Husqvarna Z248F. Uh, this year was its last year. Uh, we did blow all three spindles off of it on our last fall cleanup job. Um, blew the spindles, blew the belt, the vehicle itself runs, or I should say the mower runs wonderful. Uh, great maintenance done on it, uh, anywhere from between 40 and 60 hours um, that were put on it. It got its oil changed, new filter, new air filter. The engine's fantastic, but this is gonna go up for sale. Uh, we are gonna get the brand new spindles, brand new belts, um, and uh, it's running high lift blades right now. And uh, it is a three bagger, nine bushel, but, uh, yeah, it's going to be sad to see her go. So let's go take a look at our winter setup. Obviously, everybody's got to have a snowblower. And for you uh, single, single owner operators out there, definitely get one of these. They're super cheap, they work phenomenal, and you know they throw the snow. Uh, 100 bucks, 150 bucks on Craigslist, you can find them just about everywhere. They run forever. New purchase this year, we did get the 518 ZR. This is another one, it's a little bit heavier than that one, but still you guys can get this in and out of the back of a pickup truck, it's super simple. Uh, you know, obviously we didn't have a whole lot of snow this year in the Twin Cities, but it was mainly done by shoveling. The big one, this one's the Craftsman 24 inch. Um, this one does stay at home. This one does the properties in the neighborhood and the, and the customers that we have in here when we have the big snowfalls. But otherwise, this one pretty much sat out this year. But it happens. For the truck. This is our Western 7.6 HTS. Like I said earlier, it is designed for a half ton series pickup truck. Um, it does work phenomenal in the snow. Even heavy wet snow, it works great. You are gonna end up tripping this. It does trip quite a bit, but once you get the hang of it and where to lift and where not to, fantastic. You can move two feet of snow no problem. I was out in Chicago early February when they had their two feet and this worked great. Now I did get the extended wings on this. Obviously additional purchase. 
Um, they're great. You can easily take them on, off, and the wings work good, but they work best with that lighter, fluffier snow than they do with the heavy, thick, wet snow that we got here all year. So anyways, guys, thanks to Acoria Ballard um, and then uh, Stan at Dirt Monkey. I want to thank you guys. Uh, been a great help this year, uh, especially with that 10% off discount. So this is my 2021 20, lawn care setup.